Today I'm going to be talking about something that every Golden Doodle owner should know, or if you're thinking about getting a Golden Doodle, there is something that you really need to know before you actually get one because Golden Doodles have very high maintenance codes. They don't shed, which is why many people like them. But what comes with that if you don't have a shedding dog is a lot of maintenance. And that means grooming and brushing. Otherwise, they can have a lot of matting and tangling and then dreaded shave downs when you take them to the groomer. So today I'm gonna to be talking with you about how I am learning to take care of Kai's coat. He's seven months old, so we're just getting started. So he's had two groomings and so far I haven't really totally been happy with either one of them. And it's not because they did a bad job, it's just because I don't want him to look like a poodle. So and the main thing is his head, like his head's really round, rounded and um, they left his ears kind of longer. And so I just, it's just not really what I had in mind. So I want him to be a little more teddy bear looking like a teddy bear face. And so it takes time to find a groomer or to communicate enough with the groomer to let them know what you want. So I've been researching on how to get that look and learn how to trim his face in between groomings and hopefully get him to a point where he's not looking like a poodle. I just wanted to share with you some of these tips that I've learned from researching how to groom your golden doodle. The first thing that I was recommended by my groomer was a long pin brush. And he showed me the brush that he used on Kai. And so I researched it on Amazon and I found one, but the one that he used was, it was really expensive. It was for show dogs and it was, it was like $70. I kind of was thinking, I've got to be able to find something a little less expensive than that, but still the same type of brush, which was not that easy to find. So I found this one on Amazon, Tougher, Tougher Than Tangles Professional Slicker Brush. Um, and it's um, the long soft pins, medium size. And this was $19, which was a lot less expensive. So I'm just gonna take it out of the box right now. And I found it on Amazon. And uh, what it has is it has these long needles, or pins, I guess you call them. And, these, and they have this little bend to them which makes it easy to get into the undercoat of the, of the, of the coat. That's what the groomer explained to me, that um, the, the upper, you can't just brush over the top of the coat. You have to get underneath on the underneath area because otherwise that's how they start getting matted and that's why they end up having to get shaved. So if you don't brush your dog every day, then it's more likely that you'll have to get them shaved when you take them to the groomer. But if you can kind of keep up with it, with a brush like this, then that helps prevent having to do the big shave when you take him to the groomer. And the other thing is when you get your dog wet. So just last weekend, we took Kai to the beach and he ran around in the water. That's one of the biggest problems when you don't dry them and you don't brush them after they've been wet. So that's one really important thing that the groomer told me whenever you get them wet. So here's the brush and I'm gonna show you how I can use it on Kai right now. I just need to get him, so hang on just one second. I'm using it for the first time on him right now. And I think it does a really good job of getting down into the underneath part of his coat. These long bristles and the angle to them works really well. I saw a golden doodle at the dog park the other day that had a fully long coat and she said that she brushes him every single day, more than once a day. It was beautiful, but a lot of work. So I don't think I'm going to have him grow long like that. I just want him a little longer than this because I don't want him to look like a poodle. So and this is the scarf I got him because it's the holidays right now and I got him a little scarf. This is the brush. Um, I think it works really well. He doesn't seem to mind it very much. The other thing I'm going to try to start doing is to trim Kai's face myself. And to do that, I need to get some rounded ended scissors. I've been reading about how to get that teddy bear look on their face. And I've always been afraid to trim him myself just because I'm afraid I'm gonna cut him. 
but I think if I get these scissors, I'll feel a little more comfortable because they have a rounded end to them, so they're not sharp. And I've been reading about it. I saw some on Amazon, which I'll link here in case you'd like to try them out. So I found this guide on how to trim your Golden Doodle's face yourself using these blunt tip scissors that I was talking about. They also recommend getting some thinning shears because when you cut the sharp line, then it's gonna have this really sharp cut. It's gonna be very blunt looking. And so then when you get the thinning shears, it smooths out the, the hair that you've cut so that it has that soft look. So you take the blunt tip scissors and you trim the hair away from the golden doodle's eyes at an angle. So in this picture, it shows you, it's like a v, an upside down V shape, starting in between their eyes and going outward. So you're gonna trim that hair around the eyes at that angle, and then use the thinning shears to soften up that hard line that you just cut with the regular scissors. And then on the beard, use the blunt tip scissors to trim the hair in an oval shape. So you look at this oval shape here on this diagram, and you see that once you've removed the bulk of the hair around that area where it creates an oval shape, and then it's you kind of get rid of that bulkiness, and then you use your thinning shears to blend the lines. And then it'll look a lot less like a beard and more like that soft, round teddy bear face. And then on the top of the head, this is my, my area that I really want to learn how to do because I don't like the round head at all. And um, you use the steel tooth comb to lift the hair as you're cutting it. So when you're um, trimming the top of the head, use your blunt tip scissors to trim away the top of the hair, but um, you don't want to make it too fluffy. You want to make it more flat to have that teddy bear look rather than the rounded poodle look. That's just generally more of a poodle look. It doesn't, I don't have anything against poodles. It's just that I think I love poodles. I think they're adorable. I love them, but I just don't want um, my golden doodle to look like a poodle. So then you, um, you flatten out that top of the hair on the top of the head, and then you kind of gauge how you like the overall shape of the top of the head. And then you use your thinning shears to blend the lines. And then the ears, you want to trim the ears a little bit shorter to get that teddy bear look. And again, that's where I want to be really careful. You, you gently brush the ears with the steel comb and then you trim it. Be very careful not to cut the skin. Once you're happy with the shape of the ear, then you use the scissors, the thinning um, shears to smooth out the lines again. And then you pull the dog's ears out towards you to make sure they're even, because you don't want to have one ear shorter than the other. So just, that's just to trim off the excess ear length so that their ears are just a little bit shorter. And if you follow the natural shape of, the, of your dog's ear, then it has that natural look. So that's what I prefer. That's what I'm going for with Kai. I'll keep you posted on how it's going and um, we'll see how it goes. I, I still want to take him to the groomer, but I do want to try to do some of the in-between grooming myself just to keep him looking a little bit better and so he can see how that goes and I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That really helps me out. And share my videos with your golden doodle friends. And I will see you on the next video. Say bye, Kai.